Hello there everybody and welcome back to Frozen Cortex. So, I've decided I want to play a long form season, a single player season, um, just me, playing in a league of I believe 14 games, yeah, 14 game schedule, um, followed by a 4 team playoff. Uh, I've tried to just see the actual format of how it's set out. Um, so we're just gonna just ignore ignore this continue and we're gonna delete that game. I've only I've only played one game um, Plus I needed to practice. I'm still not very good at this game <laughs> and one day I will be going on multiplayer and obviously Playing real people so I need to learn the tactics and plus I Really really like recording for you guys. I really like sitting down and talking to myself for an hour or two a night it's it's really therapeutic for me. It's helping me a lot at work. It's helping me a lot chill out. So thank you very much. <laughs> Plus, I really want to play this game. I, I've really, really, really come to like it. And how better to actually just record it, talk about it, and share it with you guys. So, I hope you enjoy this league. Let's start a new game. Yes, let's delete the old one. And here we go. So we're again stool we're, we're playing as Stool J Cybernetics again. Um, customized team. I've actually gone through the customizations a little bit. Well, that's if it's actually saved. But it's LL Stool J. Fields of Glory. Yes, yes, it has. It's saved the color settings that I've decided to play as. Um, we're going to play as red and dark red. In fact, you know what? Alternative team colors. Let's play red and this sort of white here. Okay, yep. Yeah, that that kind of goes. Um, or should we play. Red and yellow? No, I think red and white. Okay, red and white, that's fine. Um, we'll pick this icon. We'll pick this icon here, because I really, really do like um, this as a team logo. It's the only one that re I really, really like. Um, I've unlocked some more stadium decorations. I don't know how I've unlocked these, but I've unlocked them. We'll go for the brawl one, just because it looks hard. I've decided to go with the HVP um, robot models. I've decided to go with this face just because it looks cool. There's many different varieties. I mean, this one looks pretty like... It makes you look like a Spartan, but I think this looks pretty manic. I like it a lot. Uh, we're going for holograms. We're going to go for some spikes. We're going to try and look all as spiky as we can. Uh, which looks really, really nice in the actual game. I like it a lot. And now players. I've decided what I want to do is rename my players. But I want you guys to tell me if you want to be in the game. If you tell me in the comments of this episode particularly, you want to be uh, uh, part of the team, I will change the name for you. Obviously, it's first come, first serve. Five people, as, as there's five team members. You tell me if you want to be there, and I will definitely put you in. Okay, so done. Let's start our first event. We don't need to play the tutorial. We don't need to visit the robot market because at the moment we only have a hundred um, credits. So th there's no point. Here is our first match. We are against Administrator Nomura again of SXT Vision. We're all on 0 0, which is good. Let's play the first game. Here we go. Oof, I'm excited. I love it. This game's so cool. I, I really, really like it. Ugh. So, the game is sponsored by ECN. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and drones. NL Stool J is facing off against Administrator Nomura. Here at Skyline Stadium today, we're all getting a lot of interest in on the Fanscope. I'm programmed to point out that Fanscope and several of the key statistical elements are sponsored by Pseudo Shrimp Cooperoid, co the corporation. Okay, nice. <laughs> so, it'll be good to see the teams in their first match in the league this season. Have a good one, LL Stool J. Let's show them what this game is really about. I agree. So, SXT Vision are going to go with their first turn. Let's have a look at our layout. Okay. So the smart me would probably say they're going to try and go this way because it's pretty open. Hmm. This area is pretty easily block blockable. So move Rasmussen here. 
And I think we shall move uh, Azzy here just to intercept this ball if it gets thrown this way. Now there is an issue that they might run down here, so actually let's have a look at our block zone. We move to see here. Yeah, okay, that's going to cover the, inter the, the the throw and going to create a block area here, which is good. So we'll we'll keep the him there, and also Rasmussen is going to cover here. We're in we're um, overlapping, so I, I don't think they're going to be throwing this way. Let's move Killer back. I think we'll move Buff this way. Okay. Hmm, there is a chance they could throw this uh, over here, so let's just put you here. That move you a bit over. So you're blocking the throw point, and you can sort of create a tackle zone in this area here. So if we play, let's see, yeah, there's nice tackle zone, they can't slip through. Okay, so first turn done, let's prime it, see how it goes. So they pick up the ball, let's see exactly what happened. See if we can get some sort of pattern. Okay, so he's running down here. There's a definite chance that they might pass this way. We stunned M. Noguchi there. Hmm, let's move Azzy over here. Just for that interception chance. Because if he was to... Then again, I think we'll be alright. And I think Fright, if Fright stays still, this guy's not going to be able to get past us, even if he was to pass the ball to here. We're going to be able to just tackle him if he legs it. Yeah, I think we're going to do fine here. See, we're going to take him down. Let's move Buff. Let's move Buff to here, just to cover this side. I think we'll move Killer down a little bit. I can't imagine him throwing this way. Ooh, then again, we're not going to intercept. Okay. So let's move you a little, Rasmussen, a little bit over here. Oh, no. Move him here. We want to keep in that tackle zone. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think I think we're going to do all right here. We're going to intercept if he throws that way. Let's prime the turn and find out exactly what they think they're going to do. So he's going to pass. Oh, we take him out. Did he catch it? Your fight, uh, okay, Herbert puts, uh, blah, 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 but not for the safe clutches of Rasmussen. Okay, that's a good read on that play. You're fired. Get someone who can actually pass vectors. So did we actually catch that? We've got the ball. That's brilliant. Okay, so we just literally have to leg it all the way over there. I think what we can do is we move up. Let's move them both up here. Rasmussen, I think you need to leg it, but I think we're going to run this way. If Noguchi chases us to here... Okay, we're still going to get that advantage, which is fine. Okay, that's good, that's good. We move Azzy up over here. And now, as long as we don't do one of these stupid runs, which for some reason the, the um, AI forces me to do, we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. It just depends if we're going to do one of these runs. You know what I'm wondering? So we've got the ball. I'm wondering if maybe we should move Azzy up. Like over here. Because I'm really scared that he's going to end up lagging it. Because it's really annoying when that happens. 
I think we'll be okay. I think we will. Let's go, Prime. Don't run, please. I don't know why it happens. Okay, we've got the ball. Oh, he's running! Why do you do this? Please, guys, if you know why, please could you tell me why this happens? Because it does my effing tree in. We we've messed up now. We've actually lost this drive. There's no way we can physically catch him. He's just going to leg it. Probably all the way down. He might even pass. Nah, there's nothing we can do. <sighs> it's so annoying. I really don't know why it happens. I've looked on the tutorial, I've looked at the videos, and it doesn't tell me... It doesn't tell me a reason why it goes on, and it does my friggin' tree in. <laughs> We're just gonna have to give him it. There's nothing we can do here to stop them. Here he goes, he's gonna leg it. Yep, yeah, he's scored. God damn. Okay, well, uh, a bold run from Fitzroy there as he takes it into the score. If you're not pass if you're not running the ball, you're passing it. Bob, sometimes you just got to run. Um, you had some real defensive issues there, Ella Sulje. That was obvious. No, we didn't. I just I preempted the AI taking control of the character. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if it's been mentioned anywhere. I've not seen it on the forums because I have looked. I really like this game, so <laughs> of course I'm going to look. Um. Let's try a, a funky play. If I was to run over here, for example, pick up the ball and then run here. And then pass it long. Because he's going to come, like, he's going to pretty much come for me there. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's, uh... Let's not mess around here, let's just pick up the ball. Move Azzy to here. We'll move Rasmussen down. In fact, no, let's move Rasmussen like all the way across. We'll move Killer here. He, no, we'll move Killer here. Mm hmm. Let's move. Bro. Let's move Buff there. So, everyone, are they moving? They are. Okay, so you're going to create a block. Chances are. If I was to throw that here. And he's going to have a chance to intercept. I might just leg it straight forward. See if we can pass down here. Let's prime it. See what they think we're doing. Okay, so we've got the ball. They're all coming in on us, which is pretty nice. I think if we're to throw it... We should throw it, like, here. If he goes for that ball... Right, okay. Let's see if we can get... Azzy... Here before he tackles us. No, he's gonna catch it. Unfortunately. Okay. If I was to... Throw the ball here. Is he going to intercept it? Chances are he's going to come to, like, here. Yeah, he'll be able to pick it up. If we run this way. Hmm. wonder if maybe we could throw it this way. We get Rasmussen, like... We were to dodge over here. Hmm. 
Tell you what, let's try this. We'll try it for the long run. If we throw the ball here, Rasmussen picks it up. We get Azzy to move here. Buff there. We'll keep Killer. In fact, no, let's move Killer to. In fact, no, we'll keep Killer there. Okay. I don't think they're going to expect that move. Hopefully, James Fitzroy is going to leg it like this way. So let's actually move Killer. Yeah, let's move Killer there, so... I'm gonna pick it up. Is he gonna be able to lob it all the way over? We could probably throw it, like, directly to here. Where Killer would be able to pick it up. Let's Prime. Find out exactly what they want to do. So we get the ball, we throw. So we catch. Brilliant. Now, unfortunately, James Fitzroy didn't move. Are you going to come this way? Yeah, you are. Okay. Hmm. So we've now got the ball. I'm planning on running to here. Maybe we can move Killer. We run to here. How far can we throw the ball? We can throw it there. We don't want to throw it all the way over there, but chances are he's going to run. So if he runs like here, he's not going to be able to intercept it. Which means that's a score for us. I would assume that's what he's going to do. Or at least think we're going to do. Let's move Killer to here. Because we might be able to get a pass in. Get some extra points. Let's prime it. Oh, here we go. So we throw it straight across. Oh, and it's intercepted. Shit. I should have I should have guessed. We could have actually probably run killer like here and, and thrown it. Fudge. Okay, so if he runs like this way, we're gonna tackle him. We need to move buff up, but this is gonna take forever to get there. Chances are he's gonna pass. So I think it'd be smarter if we move to like here. Create that tackle zone. And Rasmussen. Just in case he runs that way. Let's try and move people up. He's gonna leg it. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Rasmussen, where are you? You're there. You are to run there. Is there any chance we're gonna be able to catch him if he legs it? No. I think we should just keep Rasmus in here, just in case. Fight! I, I actually think you're gonna, you should stay. I think you should stay here to keep this block zone open, because then we could get the ball and pass over. So let's move Rasmus in here, so we've got that straight pass in case. This happens, okay. They're winning. There's only five turns till the end of the game. I think we should do alright, let's prime. Try and work out the way he's going, here we go. Don't pass. And he passes. 
And he has scored. God damn it. This is what I mean by I'm not good at the game, guys. We may as well prime. There's nothing we can do here. He catches the ball. Good goal. Hmm. Okay. So Herpert completes a 84 deep ball to Jung for the goal. Okay. Now it's our turn. Oh no, now it's their turn. Oh god damn. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's just delete you and we'll move you here. Okay. I don't want to be stunned. That's fine. Let's prime and go. See what he's going to do. Movement. What happened? <laughs> we stunned them all. Okay, so chance that he's going to run. He may run this way. So I think what we can do is come here. Make sure that our block zone is covering. Yeah, it's going to be. Okay. Prime. prime turn. I don't think we're missing anything here. We're waiting for the opponent. It's two games until the match is over or overtime. It's 14 2. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Eh? Okay, it's Azzy with the interception. I detect a slight lack of planning there, Bob. Uh, doesn't matter. She actually threw it to us for that one turn. Cheeky bitch. Okay. Rasmussen, you need to go there. We throw the ball. Oh, we can't throw it backwards. Shit. She actually pa I like that. The AI is cheeky. Okay, um, let's... Throw the ball to here, but as thin as we can. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we've got to throw it that way. We're not going to be able to get any extra points, though. Unless we go all the way over here. We're still not going to be able to make the point, um, get the point advantage, though. Chances are he's going to come this way as well. Yeah. We'll see. Let's prime it. It's going to be the last turn no matter what. Let's go. Outcome. We throw. Oh, he goes the other way. Are we going to be able to catch the ball? We should be able to. Next score... Our turnover ends the game. Yeah, there's no way we can get these extra points, I don't think. End the turn. Unfortunately, we've lost the first match of the league. Well, we scored a goal at least. <laughs> we lost 14-9. Unfortunate. Let's watch the full replay. How did it go? don't know why that run, that auto run happens, it's so annoying. See, that one run cost us the game. That is one funky ass <laughs> victory dance though, worth it. Intercepted, god damn it. Scores. God damn.
They actually cheekily pass it to us, knowing that we can't end the game. Unfortunate. You lost the match. Well, we lost. Solid win for Administra Nomura there. She will take the match with a final score of 49. That's right. Great work all round, guys. Let's continue. Okay, so we were awarded 100 for our match against XTX. Week 1 is now in the book, so we're still at the bottom of the league, unfortunately. News alert. Let's see what this is. Blatt to make a statement. We're about to go live to a statement from GCL Commissioner Michael Blatt. I've been part of this league for 20 years, part of this sport for longer. I love this game, I love the tactics, the impacts, the complex duel of two committed minds. But this sporting contest we call Cortex is more than that. It's a beacon. It is an inspiration. Cortex is a bright light that guides our society towards something better. Inside their habitats, many citizens of the Republic use Cortex as a way of breaking out, a mode of expression. That is precisely why we must strive to maintain the moral integrity of this great game. We must fight for it. We must be thorough when it comes to investigating any suggestion that things are not as they should be. Trust, faith, integrity, bravery. These are the characteristics that should define us as a league, as a sport and as people. Thank you. Shit, that was deep. <laughs> any robots we can buy? Let's have a look. So the cheapest 612. Oh, we got some dirt cheap, but oh, we got some blockers. Hmm. As is the chap normally in the middle, isn't he? Let's add this player. Yeah. Let's make Azzy a blocker. With regards to anything else, I think we're fine. Yeah, okay. So Azzy is now a blocker. I don't know if this means Encruden is going to be the, uh, a replacement for Azzy, but I'm sure we'll find out next episode. Guys, if you've liked what you've seen, please leave a like, and if you want to see more Frozen Cortex, please press that subscribe button. And remember, I have said, if you put in the comments you want to be part of this team, LL Stool J Cybernetics, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll add your name. First come, first serve. First five members. Thank you everyone for watching. See you bye. Multiplayer and obviously playing real people. So I need to learn the tactics. And plus, I really, really like recording for you guys. I really like sitting down and talking to myself for an hour or two a night. It's it's really therapeutic for me. It's helping me a lot at work. It's helping me a lot chill out. So thank you very much. <laughs> Plus, I really want to play this game. I, I've really, really, really come to like it. And how better to actually just record it, talk about it, and share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this league. There's many different varieties. I mean, this one looks pretty like... It makes you look like a Spartan, but I think this looks pretty manic. I like it a lot. Uh, we're going for holograms. We're going to go for some spikes. We're going to try and look all as spiky as we can, uh, which looks really, really nice in the actual game. I like it a lot. And now players. I've decided what I want to do is rename my players, but I want you guys to tell me if you want to be in the game. If you tell me in the comments of this episode particularly, you want to be uh, uh, part of the team. Hello there everybody and welcome back to Frozen Cortex. So, I've decided I want to play a long form season. A single player season. Um, just me. Playing in a league of, I believe, 14 games? Yeah, 14 game schedule. Um, followed by a 4 team playoff. Uh, I've tried to just see the actual format of how it's set out, um, so we're just going to just ignore ignore this continue, and we're going to delete that game. I've only I've only played one game. Um, plus, I needed to practice. I'm still not very good at this game, <laughs> and one day I will be going on start a new game. Yes, let's delete the old one 
And here we go. So we're again still we're, we're playing as Stool J Cybernetics again. Um, customized team. I've actually gone through the customizations a little bit. Well, that's if it's actually saved. But it's LL Stool J Fields of Glory. Yes, yes, it has. It's saved the color settings that I've decided to play as. Um, we're going to play as red and dark red. In fact, you know what? Alternative team colors. Let's play red and this sort of white here. Okay, yep, that that kind of goes. Um, or should we play red and yellow? No, I think red and white. Okay, red and white. That's fine. Um, we'll pick this icon. We'll pick this icon here because I really, really do like um, this as a team logo. It's the only one that re I really, really like. Um, I've unlocked some more stadium decorations. I don't know how I've unlocked these, but I've unlocked them. We'll go for the Brawl one, just because it looks hard. I've decided to go with the HVP um, robot models. I've decided to go with this face, just because it looks cool. 